This quick video is going to show you how to create a password in a Google form, like this one right here, where if you type in anything other than 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, it'll say it's wrong, and but if you type in that, it'll allow you to submit the password, or submit the form. So, if you open up Google Forms and open up a blank form, and let's say you are creating a quiz for people to take, and you want them to be able to, you want to make sure that the people taking it are the correct people. If you title the quiz, like Quiz 12 or something, and then this will be the password. So you can name this next question password. And then you need to be able to type it in. So you need to change the type of the question to short answer. If you left it like this, they could type in anything. And that's why we need data validation. So down here, there's three dots in the right hand, right bottom hand corner. And if you click data validation, these extra options show up to use data validation. So you can either restrict it to only numbers, you can restrict it to enter text, or you can restrict it to enter to only be able to enter certain expressions. And a regular expression needs to match a certain pattern that we want, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now there are a lot of other rules for regular expressions that we won't go over in this video, but because it's simplified in Google Forms, it's pretty easy. This custom error text right here is just the text that you want it to tell the person that's entering the data uh, if their password is incorrect. So we can say incorrect password. And then right here, we need to click required because if this question is not required, they'll be able to submit the form without answering the password. So this is the first section. Uh, if we want them to be able to carry on to other questions in the form, we can add a section. And in this section, we can have the quiz questions. And then you add multiple choice questions like Jack and Link went up the hill. And you can say, was it Jill? Was it John? Was it Jacob? And make sure that's required as well. And then if you preview it, you enter in the right password, click next, and then you enter in your answer, click submit. It says it was recorded. Then if you go back to your form that you were creating and look on the responses, you'll see that one person took your uh, form, took your quiz, and that one person answered Jill. If you click right here, you can create a spreadsheet with these answers and see the answers that everyone has entered in. So that is adding passwords to a Google form. I hope you liked it and Stay tuned for other videos. Thanks.